Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how to generate the artwork files to create this board uh, or send a, to create the files that are going to be needed to uh, send to Peralta to have them mill out your boards. So uh, the first thing you're going to do is create the artwork files. There's a few ways of getting to it. Um, if this toolbar is here, you can click this little, uh, uh, it's like a camera icon, is one way to get into this uh, area right here. Or you can go up here to manufacture and click artwork. So it only gives you the top and bottom layers, and we need more layers than that. We're going to need our solder mass top, our solder mass bottom, top and bottom layer, just like it has here, and we'll also need uh, the, uh, the board outline. So um, we could add these in manually. Uh, Dr. Jordan has a blog on adding them in manually. Um, I've created a text document for you guys. Uh, you should be able to get this off the uh, uh, ESD blog, and all you're going to have to do is just replace You'll need to find that, that document. I have mine on my desktop as artwork settings is what it's called. I'm just going to double click that and that auto generates all the things uh, that he shows you how to generate inside of uh, uh, one of his blogs. So you can go ahead and select all and then you're going to create artwork. As you saw that said completed with warnings. Um, sometimes there's some warnings in here. Um, you'll most of the warnings here are kind of hard to figure out. Um, it's easier just to look at your board in a Gerber viewer, and that's the easiest way to find out whether your files are actually manufacturable or not. So uh, let's see, solder mask bottom was created with warnings, but it doesn't really tell me what those warnings are. So uh, we'll just have to find out in the artwork to make sure that this is, or in the Gerber viewer to make sure that these files files are manufacturable. So uh, the other thing you're going to have to do is generate a drill file and you'll come up back up here to manufacture NC and click NC drill. That's going to open up a file like this. It's going to name it automatically the name of your board .drl. You're going to want to make sure you select auto tool select NC parameters. That'll open up another window and you're going to want to make sure you select the enhanced Excel on format and hit close. And after you have all that set up, that's all you need. You can click drill, and that'll create a drill file for you as well. So now you have your drill file and your uh, five Gerber files, uh, artwork files, that you'll need to generate a board. So now you can, uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to uh, verify those files are manufacturable uh, at, at Peralta's mill. And then you'll, after you do that and have that checked off with the TA, you can uh, send it into Peralta. So I'll see you guys in the next one.